road come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and are better than the rest of the fire team beat your chest? It's a schoolboy football. A team could rise and a team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show. It's a schoolboy football. Oh, it's a beautiful venue. It's the Jay-Z Ashadheim Stadium. It's the venue for the second round matchup in the Issa Manning Cup between Kingston Technical and St. Andrew Technical. El Technical, the name dubbed by the gold connoisseur himself, Kimani O'Sullivan. And we are at the Ashadheim Stadium ready for what is expected to be a cracking matchup between these two technical teams that perhaps before 2017 would not have had great significance in the Manning Cup. But ever since, St. Andrew Technical has made it to five consistent, consecutive rather, semi-final appearances, three of them being finals appearances. They have definitely made their stake as a top team in the school board football. Kingston Technical, they've had great runs of form, especially two seasons ago. But this time they will definitely face St. Andrew Technical, who stands as the overwhelming favorites, being the number one seed in the ISA Manning Cup following the completion of the group stages. The teams will greet each other. A staggering 46 goals for St. Andrew Technical shows their attacking prowess. And let's see, they have listed approximately 13 players who've scored goals. And that shows the variety that they have. This game will be officiated by O'Hara Headley, assisted by Kevin Murray and Kendordo Hall, the fourth official. Joseph Heron speaks to the captain. In the case of uh, St. Andrew Technical, Richard Livingston and Alwyn Bennett on duty for Kingston Technical. I'm Dean Smith and with me is LeJay Williams. LeJay, your initial thoughts on uh, this encounter? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, Kingston Technical versus St. Andrew Technical two teams that I know have a lot of aspirations especially St. Andrew Technical who will be looking to return to the Manning Cup final but Kingston Technical of course are no pushovers let's see what they li their lineup has to bring Kingston Technical they have uh, four at the back but before that Jaheim Hall in goal back four of Carlos Planta Damari Brooks Thierry Merritt and Alwyn Bennett three in the middle Ravian Thompson Jamari Robinson Jordan Fowler and three up top, Nikoi Walters, Devon Millwood, and Quain Hudson, the 12 goal, five assist man. They're coached by Francis Murray. Yeah, of course, be on the lookout for Quain Hudson. He's the one who's going to be looking to create those incisive passes and score those important goals against his almost impenetrable St. Andrew Technical defense. St. Andrew Technical, they have Jaheim Williams in goal. A back three of Alex Xavier Good and J. Lloyd Smith and Kemar Thompson. In the middle of the park, Nicole Gale, Richard Livingston, Ajitai Marshall, Andre Salmon, and Kevin Hall. Up top, Leon Brown and Dwayne Atkinson. Of course, they're coached by Philip Williams. Yeah, and unlike Kingston Technical, where they have one main man, I think the St. Andrew Technical team has quality in all three phases, in defense, in midfield, and in attack. They're going to be a tough unit to stop. I'm looking forward to see what they bring on this occasion today. Should be a very interesting lineup. Kingston Technical, St. Andrew Technical, El Technical. 13 listed scorers for St. Andrew Technical, so they have quality coming off the bench. And they have about 10 persons who've registered assist on this team as well. Yeah, another trip to the final must be what's on their minds. They have quite a few players who would have won two seasons ago at the under 16 level. And the last year perhaps was. Just a bit of bounty for them to make it to the final. And uh, the expectation this season has to be that they will deliver all the goods. It's uh, Issa, man in cup action on your home of champions. We're getting ready for kickoff. Jaim Hoare. 
is a standing off camera. Now he's kneeling. Referee O'Hara Headley getting all things ready. Sent off now, Nicoy Gale able to send that one up. Interestingly, we see him slip in. There were some concerns about how this venue would have retained the water based on the history. Let's see how it holds up, Najee. Yeah, it took a walk out there as we see, see Andrew Technical on an early attack. That's the Salmon there pushing forward. Crucial header that from Thierry Mary to play it out for a corner kick. The attacking intent definitely on display. Yeah, took an early walk out there and it did seem pretty dry actually. I don't think we're going to see too much slippage in this game, barring a couple incidents. But I think Kingston Technical will be looking to avoid any slippage in their defense as they look to hold OC Andrew Technical for this corner. Corner kick, delivery comes into the area at the back post and the man at the end of that one couldn't bring it on target yes it was really a teasing ball and advancing looked to have been j lloyd smith yeah it was already shown his prowess from corners this season of course three goals this season j lloyd smith from center back Here's the Kingston technical head coach, Francis Murray. Wasn't a coach last season for sure. So in a new role, but to qualify out of what would have been a top group of two champions last season, certainly a feat that can't be ignored. Here they try to come forward, lose possession. Livingston for St. Andrew Technical. He's fouled by Ravian Thompson. Alex Xavier Gooden with J. Lloyd Smith in possession in the St. Andrew Technical half. Ball sent for intended target was Leon Brown, but figure that he would have been offside. Philip Williams, the head coach of St. Andrew Technical. This his sixth season in terms of numerical years, five active seasons in play based on the COVID-19 pandemic. And he has never missed the semi-finals. Here's a chance for St. Andrew Technical flashed across the face of goal. Yet again, St. Andrew Technical looking extremely dangerous within three minutes. Two really, really good chances. Arriving at the back post here was Leon Brown, but didn't gamble enough, perhaps. That was another really good chance for St. Andrew Technical to take an early lead in this one. Kingston Technical would have to batten down the hatches early. The writing certainly on the wall. Ajitai Marshall with a good touch. And great build-up play between Leon Brown and Livingston. Brown has to turn, sends it across. Slipping is Nicoy Gale. He's been the only party slipping. Perhaps his studs need to be adjusted. Still pushing forward. Here's the delivery inside the area. And it just eluded Brown. Livingston will try to mop up. Plays it out for a corner kick. We get another ball flashing right across the goal mouth of Kingston Technical. They'll have to defend yet another corner. First one was extremely dangerous. We see Livingston stealing a yard or two. Here it comes in the area. Creep at the back post. Smith there trying to get a header on and Gooden as well, but 
St. Andrew Technical, they are on the defensive now. They regain possession. That ball cut out by Kingston Technical. KT, as they are affectionately called. Devon Millwood trying to get by J. Lloyd Smith. He had Kim measured on that occasion. He has a three goals, J. Lloyd Smith. That from the heart of defense. Throwing taken by Kingston Technical, headed out by Gale. Played it all the way back to Shaheem Moore in goal. a lot of bungling there in the middle of the park. Ravian Thompson. Good defensive good strong work from challenge Gooden, yeah. here by Gooden. A real leader of the back line, one might say. Doesn't have the captain's armband, but just judging off his play from last season, He's going to be a key, key figure. And not the best of attempted passes here by Jordan Fowler. So it's a throw in for Senna, the techni technical taken quickly. Yeah, Gale definitely has to sort out his foot in. Thompson plays through Livingston. Trying to get in. Perhaps we'll have to turn back. He does under pressure from two players. They know his threat as a key figure in terms of the assist front. Does King Kingston technical, so they're trying to close him down from delivering those balls. Eight assists to his credit. Here's Thompson for Kingston technical. Jamari Robinson there slipped. Kevin Hall trying to spread it wide. Not the best of passes through, but I don't think my walk around the pitch was thorough enough, Dean. Because <laughs> we are seeing a lot of slippage. It did seem like the ground had dried up pretty well, but clearly not enough. And that might be a problem towards the latter end of this game when the ground gets a bit more soft. In addition to the second game of this doubleheader. I'm sure the players will cope. They'd much prefer this than a waterlogged field. Choose your poison, they'd say. And perhaps this one is manager. So it's a throw in. Here they go now for St. Andrew Technical trying to advance. That ball cut out. Thompson goes again, gets a throw in on that occasion. Yeah, Thompson, I think, is an important cog in terms of what St. Andrew Technical are aiming to do with this back three. Playing on that left hand side can play at full back, so he's adept at covering the channels as well as advancing the ball. He's advanced on this occasion, but easily covering is J. Lloyd Smith, fouled in the end. The danger man, Queen Hudson, there, a judge to a foul, J. Lloyd Smith. Gooden, he slips, but that ball. 
almost would have meant Livingston. And we're seeing the Saint Saint um, Kingston technical number eleven, Devon Millwood, who is nominally playing as a right winger, having to drop so deep just to match up with Richard Livingston of Saint Andrew Technical because of the because of how high he is playing. So that's already a problem that St. Andrew Technical is causing to Kingston Technical. And I assume that's going to be a problem for the remainder of the game as well. Unless Kingston Technical get very offensive and try and force him back. But that's going to be a good battle down that side. Makes for interesting viewing, Lejay. Ball sent up by Kingston Technical. Headed out, but... Only with Millwood trying to thread through a pass. It does come through, but broken up. Marshall plays it out to Hall. Advancing now looks to be Marshall. Ajitai Marshall trying to thread it through. But that one was broken up by the Kingston Technical Defense. But stats, they have the opportunity to push forward. Gale connecting with Thompson. Brown was trying to point to the spot he wanted it but went to Livingston and said here's Gale good now good from distance and the scaffolding has been rattled only marginally yeah the cameraman will be safe Lejay yeah I think he's pretty calm in the situation another sighter from say Andrew Technical say Andrew Technical I think had a really good base of possession based football last season as we saw when they went to the final, a real change up from what we're used to from St. Andrew Technical in terms of usually they're a very strong defensive team. The last season we saw a real uptick in their attacking play and although this season they have switched to a three at the back system, people would think that that's to go back to that defensive way of playing and although they are extremely strong defensively this season, I do think that we've seen an uptick in their attacking prowess also. And I think because it's you know, maybe a false perception that maybe three at the back is seen as a defensive formation. I think it has really helped them in midfield in terms of how they have been dynamic in terms of having midfield runners from deep, in terms of holding possession as well. So I think St. Andrew Technical have really improved in all aspects this season, not only from a tactical sense, but also the fact that they have returned 10 players from last season, 10 key players also. So just from a continuity sense as well, the talent that they have, I do think that they definitely were the best team in the first round in the Manning Cup in my eyes. Yeah, many individuals would certainly agree with you. And having 13 goal scorers, definitely something that can't be argued against from an attacking front and from a, the, the depth that that represents. Slipping and sliding all over the middle of the park there, Lejay. Here's that's come forward again. Livingston on this left-hand flank. They know the threat he poses. He has to play it back to Thompson. J. Lloyd Smith. Gale in the belly of the midfield there. Playing it through. Ball coming through for Brown. Salmon there. Guilty of... Foul. So it's a free kick for KT. They played out. Millwood unable to get on the end of that one, but it's still a throw in for them. Hudson. Diminutive, but certainly the target man of four Kings and Technical. Smith playing it forward. Leon Brown has to chase. This is as if a boot caught him in the face there. Leon Brown was high from the Kings and Technical defender. Yeah, really high. Really high. Theory, Theory merit. merit. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hopefully Brown is okay, but if and when he recovers, see Andrew Technical have a free kick in a really dangerous area here. Theory Merritt there being shown the yellow card for that challenge. There are a few of the supporters for St. Andrew Technical. So happy to see the program that they've developed by Bumper Hall. Our Spanish Town Road in Kingston for those who perhaps want a geographical point to pin St. Andrew Technical. It is a name that we expect to continue to call deep into the competition. Livingston is there, goodness there behind this one. Looks to be Livingston, the man favored for this. Can it be a moment of glory? Livingston steps up. And it's just over the top. Jaheem or untroubled by that. Yeah. Not a bad effort from Livingston, but always rising in the end. And ended up dipping a bit too late. Was central also. An early sight of a Livingston who has contributed 15 goals already this season. That means seven goals and eight assists. Ajitai Marshall there. Hustling on the ball. Good. Gale. Plays it to Thompson. Thompson lifts it up. Andre Salmon there. Turn in. Unable to connect with his fellow partner in the forward line. Here they come again. Kevin Hall. Trying to whip it across. Took a deflection and Jaheim Orr. Able to handle that one easily in the end. Haven't been really able to connect any great amount of passes, has Kingston Technical. Yeah, I think it's really hard to play through St. Andrew Technical because not only are they solid defensively, we know that when it comes down to their back three or back five as it may become, it's extremely hard to get by them, but the press that they employ as well, I think can be suffocating for even the best of teams. So Kingston Technical, it's always going to be difficult for them, but they'll have to find a way through passes like that. Hudson gets it back, unable to get by defensively astute good here they come forward now St. Andrew Technical playing it through for Sama the offside flag went up and you figure that Jaheem Orr would have had it covered has looked extremely comfortable Orr I remember seeing him last season always looked like a Really comfortable keeper, really assured in what he was trying to do. Here they come forward. Hudson has moved over to the left and flank. Jaheim Williams, his first real contribution as he boots it forward. Marshall. Here they come forward. Looks to be Hall. That went out of touch. It's a corner kick for St. Andrew Technical. This on the right hand side of the attack. It will be their skipper Livingston who will be coming across to take this one as well. Really two footed player Livingston who saw him on the other end. Kingston Technical player needing some assistance. 
So Livingston on the other end taking set pieces with his right. So I'm take a free kick with his left and I assume that we'll see him take this corner with his left as well. Saquon Satrell, Saquon Satrell who wore the number seven jersey last season for Senator Technical, also a two-footed player. So perhaps it's a rite of passage in their system. Had a pile driver in the semi-final, much to the dismay of many Kingston College supporters. You're saying many, I think you could have just said to myself. That too. <laughs> Livingston behind this one. Lifts it across. It's another corner kick. Certainly happy that the sun is out in all its glory, LeJ Williams. And as the game progresses, you expect that the underfoot conditions might improve for, if not this game, certainly for the second of the double header. Campion College versus Kingston College. Here comes the delivery. Leon Brown was really waiting to strike on that one. Turn pass there, judge should be offside. Making some technical try a quick one up the pitch. Let's see if calm as per usual. So to his goalkeeper. Here's Kevin Hall. Spreads it forward. Easily handled by Merritt. Yeah, handled in a much different way than the the Andrew technical defenders did it yeah but just as effective you have to play to your strengths and Xavier Gooden national under 17 representative always a big thing when you can say national <laughs> player for St. Andrew technical down referee O'Hara Headley calling the medical staff of Senator Technical just to come and assist that player. Looks to be Gale. Yeah. It was Gale who had an awkward fall. So download the Sportsmax app today, get it on the Google Play or the Apple App Store and follow all the action of schoolboy football. SBF in Jamaica, SSFL in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, it's there on the app for your viewing pleasure and so much more in football all over and sports really all over the world on the app. And guess what? The app is free. And if you're like many of us, we all love gifts that are free, don't we? Well, they have some free time and it's a water break. And uh, certainly a time for tuition as well. The coach is able to give a pep talk there or there about to the players to ensure that they keep to the system of play and they are a bit settled. Philip Williams trying to engineer his way to another Manning Cup final, this time perhaps a, a, a trophy. And uh, a teacher for close to 20 years at St. Andrew Technical. And he teaches engineering drawing in the technical drawing department. So he has to measure gear ratio and all of that kind of stuff for drawing purposes. And the engineering definitely on display with the system and how well St. Andrew Technical have been able to stick to it. 
Yeah, and it's multiple systems as well. We're seeing that he changes from season to season, year on year. And he has been extremely impressive in each of those systems also. Seeing the Nikoi Gale there, I think, who has been an extremely important cog for the past two seasons, playing a similar role as he did last season as a lone six. But I think this season he has much more responsibility, forming almost like a diamond with that back three in possession. Really has to sit in front of them and shield probably a much larger area of space than he had to last season. Here they come forward. Leon Brown on the end of that. Merritt was there as well. Concedes a corner kick. Yeah, speaking of having to cover ground, Merritt has been all over the Kingston technical defense. He has. It's another corner kick now. Delivered near to the near post. Jackie Moore really had to do well to get that out of the danger here, but couldn't they lose in possession? Gale having to do some defensive work there just to ensure Hudson unable to capitalize on that loose ball, you'd say. Check him or down. Kingston technical bench being summoned. Had to really dig deep to keep that one out. Here's a sequence of play. The header, speculative, really, but really posed some problems for Jaheim or. So the frame of the goal beyond the touchline really was where he landed, causing some amount of damage to or harm to his right calf thereabout, yeah. Figure that he'll be fine. Or will he? The stretcher is being summoned by the referee. She's here as well. That's Colleen Montague. One of the key cogs in the administration of ISA, principal of Woolmers High School for Girls. So the medics have come out as well. There's a blemish on his elbow, ensuring that there's no blood flowing as per the laws of the game. So it's Issa Manning Cup second round action, the first of two legs in the second round, the round of 16. We're at the JC Ashenheim Stadium on Old Hope Road in the capital of Jamaica Kingston. The only school named after the country, Jamaica College in the Caribbean. Yeah, only school bearing the name of the country. Only high school. And even though our Bayesian, our resident Bayesian, Jared Morisili is always quick to remind us that Jamaica College wouldn't be in existence without the influence of a Bayesian. So it's kind of ironic that they're the only school named after the half of our country. You would think that someone in Barbados would have tried the Barbadian Royal College or something of that. <laughs> Republic of Trinidad and Tobago secondary, but I'm just throwing some names out there. All of them would have sound had a ring to them. Mm -hmm. 
So the crowd steadily building here at the JC Ashenheim Stadium, of course. The second matchup will have the school, Kingston College. They have a huge following, to say the least. Champion College on the up in terms of schoolboy football. Last season, they would have been a part of the under-16 All-Island player at title game, having, of course, been the, been the urban era champions or Colts as it's commonly called. So that was big for Campion College. So they face Kingston College in the second. Here they come again, St. Andrew Technical. They win a throw in just by the finish of the 100 meters. Of course, there's a full 400 meter track here at the Ashenheim Complex. Ball sent in. Livingston trying to control Thompson tries to stab it forward but playing out now is Millwood for Kingston Technical dispossessed Atkinson Brown Brown putting Jahim Moore to work yeah sharp effort in the end there by Leon Brown as soon as he got the ball at the top of the box, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. I just couldn't guide it into that bottom corner. He immediately tried to line that one up. That's another example of the St. Andrew Technical Press, which is difficult to execute in this way. Salmon. Salmon sends it across. It was behind Brown. Brown stabs it forward for Marshall. He turns but loses possession, regains it. It's now with Gale. Perhaps will try to connect with Livingston. He does. Livingston whips it across. And that went behind. Yeah, too far for everyone in the end there, Livingston. But it was an excellent skill a moment ago by Salmon to get into the box. I was wondering why he didn't take on the shot himself. Once in position, tried to cross it. Ended up not connecting with any of his teammates, but it's really been a nearly half of St. Andrew Technical so far. 32 minutes into the game, they have been the better team. Superior in all aspects. Here they come now through Hudson, Kingston Technical. Hudson gets the shot off. First for them. Way off target though, but he'll definitely grow in confidence, have been able to release something goalward yeah i'm sure that would do even to warm up here's a chance earlier i was speaking of from say andrew technical really good work by someone but then a mix up by a couple of the say andrew technical players here's gail Spreads it to Livingston. Does well to take it down first time. Whips it across. Headed back by Kingston Technical. They're still in a dangerous area. Hudson going very deep in the heart of defense. That cut out again by Stats. Trying to advance through Hall now. In the area. Final passing, not as pristine as I'm sure Coach Philip Williams would have wanted. I think he's a technical will feel a bit hard done by by that one. But stats have gotten this one underway immediately. Looking for Livingston again, but well shepherded out by Kingston Technical. It's actually going to be a corner. A bit of a surprise. Uh, a result in favor of, say, Andrew Technical. It's going to be a, a new set piece take as well. It's as if it's Marshall, I believe, jogging over to take this one. Could be Marshall or Atkinson. Well, whoever it is. Looks to be Hall. Yeah, it actually is Hall, and he's stealing more than a few yards <laughs> as well. 
Here's the delivery. High. Good and Smith there trying to climb for that one, but only went out of touch for a goal kick for Kingston Technical. So, inside minute 36 in this encounter. Hudson turns, does well. Thompson fouling Hudson there. Certainly has lived up to his billing as certainly a player to watch. Very yeah. tricky on the ball. Yeah, proving to be a, a real pest on the side of, say, Andrew Technical whenever he gets on the ball. And he's probably won his team one of the better opportunities they could possibly have in this first half. It's going to be the left foot of Ravian Thompson. I'm wondering if he's going to go for goal or we'll try and swing this one in. Let's see. Thompson standing behind this one. Jaime Williams in goal. Trying to orchestrate his wall. Will there be effective fortification? Will there be an effective kick from Thompson? Leon Brown joining the proceedings in constructing the wall. Thompson. Not sure, if, not sure if he really wanted to go goal what or to go for the back post. I think he was aiming for the back post, but overhit it. You can see immediately from his reaction that that wasn't one of his best efforts. Senator Technical trying to go forward now. Livingston switches it. Hall. Where's that Atkinson? Leon Brown now inside the area. Too much on that one. Yeah, I think he took the wrong option there. I could immediately see that he was looking if the cutback was available. Probably thought that was a difficult pass to make, then tried to dink it to the back post where I assume he felt that Livingston would be, but in the end. Just couldn't get the right contact on it. Yeah, really fired that one across. Kevin Hall was really there waiting. As you can see, just at the end of that clip, he was waiting for that cutback, remonstrating with Leon Brown. Easy to be the Monday night quarterback, though. Kale under pressure there. Thompson has it. Good clearance from Senator Technical. Livingston on the chase. Still under pressure with Hall now. Make that Atkinson. Hall did well to bring it down. Marshall. Here's Atkinson. On target, Jaheim Orr did just enough. Good defensive work from Stats once more. Marshall playing it forward. Brown to Atkinson to Livingston. Livingston with the switch. Good on the ball. Now J. Lloyd Smith. He slips, but able to find Livingston. And there's a 
and the earnestness in the repetition of St. Andrew Technical's play. Leon Brown there, leaving that one for Hall, who lifts it in the area now. Waiting was Atkinson, but Kingston Technical able to play out. Jordan Fowler. Yet again, no out ball there for Kingston Technical, or is it that they couldn't find the out ball? See, Andrew Technical really pinning in this Kingston Technical unit. It's been impressive so far, but no goals to show for it. But if they continue in this vein, I have no doubt that it will come. Yeah. Another high boot. Call. On his feet now. Yeah. Carlos Planter. Certainly lucky to be speared a card by referee Headley. Has been rather merciful, has referee Headley. Livingston standing behind this free kick in a dangerous area. Let's see the quality that he has. Lifts it high. At the back post there was Gooden still in front of goal, able to clear his Kingston technical. Slipping was J. Lloyd Smith. Able to regain his footing and ended up winning the throw. Yeah, that was really good work actually by Kemar Thompson coming over onto that right hand side defending from the corner having a really good game so far I think all three of the, the back line for St. Andrew Technical that ball played through for Andre Salmon he's trying to use all of his delicate touches to break up the defense but that was broken up here they come again that offside flag is up Free not seeing it, but playing it out acknowledges it now. So just a few moments left in regulation time in the first half. Still goalless here at the Ashenheim Complex at Jamaica College between St. Andrew Technical and Kingston Technical. If you're just joining, first leg in the second round or the round of 16. Fowler there for Kingston Technical, losing his footing, losing the ball as well. Free kick for Kingston Technical as they look to close out the first half on a high. And for a change of ball there. Seems as if it will be the skipper, Jamario Robinson, to swing this one in. 
first free kick that they had wasn't in a necessarily or it wasn't a necessarily good delivery he'll be looking to improve on this it's actually there captain alwyn bennett my bad here's bennett goes pretty much towards go but jaheem williams was on hand able to spread it to the left as is their want livingston gets ahead to it leon brown trying to get around thompson but kingston technical trying to play out they're being suffocated in the middle of the park and their final pass is being broken up five minutes of added time here's the delivery atkinson trying to get by thompson it was his possession gale Planter there playing it out as was millwood it's a corner kick for senator technical Well, not much urgency there with Livingston to take this one. Here's Brown. Brown! Oh, really should have done better there. It was actually an important block in the end, I think. The corner has been given, so there was a deflection. It's been a frustrating half, I think, in front of goal. As we see it again, rolls through to him. Yeah, it was a really good block in there. Yeah. Making sure his goalkeeper had no work to do. Because if he had had work to do, it would be very difficult to do said work. Here's a corner kick. Jay Lloyd Smith was there, so he's good. Or able to play it out. He's yeah, just a free train, isn't he? Really is. Thompson doing well there to avert the danger. It's a throw in for Kingston Technical. Hudson in a dangerous area, dancing, but Thompson unmoved by his nursery. And that was almost a wicked deflection. It was a wicked deflection, yeah. but it almost resulted in an own goal. They have conceded two of those this season so far, St. Andrew Technical. Here's Brooks with the corner. Doing well there was Atkinson to clear. Here they come now. First half winding to a close. Certainly a hot day, a lot of umbrellas out. I think that they may be prepping for rain as well, but clear sky so far. Thompson doing well to Sheila Hudson.
Fowler. Yeah, way ahead of any player, any of his teammates. Referee O'Hara Headley has seen enough of the first half here at the JC Ashadime Sports Complex in this Issa Manning Cup first leg, second round action between Kingston Technical and the St. Andrew Technical. Both teams perhaps not used to each other historically and certainly for this season. And St. Andrew Technical, though dominating in the early exchanges, haven't been able to put on the final telling blow. It's nil all at the half here at Jamaica College, the Ashenheim Sports Complex. JLP and Sportsmax 2, Monday, 5 p.m., 6 in the rest of the Caribbean. Malines United versus Arnett Gardens. And in the second match, Waterhouse will face Montego Bay United, Monday, 7.30 p.m., 8.30 in the rest of the Caribbean. Confirmation of the first half score, Kingston Technical and St. Andrew Technical. Nil all at the half, second half action to come. And let's see if there can be some amount of goals in this encounter. The referees, they ran to the field of play. Yoara Headley having a quick chat with Jamari Robinson one of the captains for Kingston Technical. So if you're just joining us, it's El Tecnico, the clash of the two technical teams, certainly two notable technical teams in the Kingston area and known all over the island as well. What a great find Kimani O'Sullivan had for the water halftime break. 50-year reunion for a set of students, past students for Kingston Technical. So a 50 year reunion would have perhaps been the 1973 class there about. Let's get some confirmation of that, but my math isn't too shaky. So the failure to restart is attributed to the goalkeeper being treated still at the sideline. He's been patched up by the medical team on hand here at the JC Ashenheim complex. Yeah, looking much better now, only needing his gloves. And those are in hand as he runs to what will be his home for the next 45 minutes. Lejay, your expectations for the second half? I'm expecting more of the same, really. Um, say Andrew Technical being the dominant team looking to create chances from all different angles, especially through wing play and Kingston Technical looking to hit them on the break and try and be a nuisance in the transition. But I think in the end, we might see a St. Andrew Technical team that the better one. 
Kingston Technical with the kickoff on this occasion, this half. Let's see if they can string together the passes that they'll need to break down what has been a resolute St. Andrew Technical defense. <coughs> they have a throw in. Taken short. Robinson plays it all the way back to Barrett, the captain. Goes all the way back to his goalkeeper, Jaheim Orr. Kevin Hall. In a duel there with Carlos Planta. Getting the throw in for St. Andrew Technical. Good. Ball played up for Kevin Hall, cut out by Planter. Broken up again. Here's Leon Brown for St. Andrew Technical. Ajitai Marshall trying to connect that time with Hall. Marshall to Atkinson. Not been able to stand as firmly as I'm sure they would have loved the players. Here's Gooden. Plays it out to the man out wide hall. He's fouled by Jamari Robinson. First opportunity for say Andrew Technical to get something offensive going in the second half. So it's a free kick. Livingston behind it. Lifts it up to the back post. Chahi Moore had to come out. Two players left in down well. Jamari Robinson. I mean, the Ravian Thompson being the one down for Kingston Technical. Leon Brown had a brief moment on the ground. Here's another look at it. Yeah, it was a teasing delivery, and once Orr got to it, he really cleaned out everything in his way, and unfortunately for his teammate, he was in the warpath. <laughs> so that's a class of 73, Kingston Technical. They're here to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Of course, you'd have heard in the halftime show that it was a unanimous decision to celebrate in Jamaica. One of the individuals all the way from Tulsa, Oklahoma. But yeah, high school spirit certainly strong in Jamaica, in the Caribbean, really. And it's so meaningful for present students to see those who have gone on before them still having that great affection affinity to the institution of secondary learning it definitely makes you feel like you're a part of something great of course some schools carry a greater weight of that than others but so very good to see Kingston Technical being represented represented in that manner Campion College, of course, they have a astute past students association. And how they are proud of being the brightest and the best. 
That's what they say. It's hard to argue against it. Play resumes, Kingston Technical. Being able to play out. Fowler there giving up possession cheaply. It's a throw in for stats. Taken quickly. Barrett doing well to block off the channel. Hudson breaks up the play for Kingston Technical. He loses possession. Here's Gale. Hall now on the ball. Can he do something magical on this flank? The right and flank in their attack. Plays it back to Gale. He'll go further back to Alex Xavier Gooden. Come on the ball, looking for that switch to Livingston. It's metronomic how they continue to utilize that particular strategy. Livingston gets the foul. Taken quickly is Gale. Hall takes it down well. Finds Atkinson. Atkinson tries to connect with Marshall, but that was broken up. Planter plays out for Kingston Technical. Goes only back to Gooden. Atkinson. Kemar Thompson now. Leon Brown slipping. And tugged as well. <laughs> Here's Salmon. Salmon with the shot off. Took a deflection. It's a corner kick. Yeah, another strong block from Kingston Technical. We saw an example of that from a Salmon shot in the first half also. And yet again, right place, right time. Halloween Bennett there with the block for Kingston Technical, the captain. A bit shaken up by it. He'll need some attention. The medical personnel for Kingston Technical runs to his aid. They've had some half chances there about from the corner kicks, six of them. Well, this makes, makes it seven for St. Andrew Technical. Let's see what they can do in this second half, Lejay. Yeah, but first we're going to need some extra care for Alwyn Bennett. So I'm limping after a challenge in the first half also. I'm wondering if this is a reoccurrence of that issue. That's definitely not a player that any Kingston technical fan would want to lose. Another sh look at that particular play. Heard him writhing in pain as they brought him off the field. And the Kingston Technical Bench has summoned Orville Colton to get warmed. Definitely looks like that change will have to be made. It's off the field now, so... By right play can resume. The captain armband being given to Queen Hudson, the number 14, the marksman for them. Here's the delivery. Rising was Leon Brown. Couldn't get a firm header on it. Fowler will have to play out for Kingston Technical. Only as far as Gale, though, who recycles now. J. Lloyd Smith. was anticipating it coming closer to me. Throw taken quickly. Yeah, it took all the time in the world over that one, Smith, but couldn't get his radar right. I see Andrew Technical look to build again. 
Marshall. Salmon was on the end of it. Here's Brown trying to get on the end of this one. Gets beyond the keeper. And referee Headley points to the spot. It really was a darting run for Leon Brown, causing all sorts of problems for the goalkeeper, Jaye Moore. Both of them still down, or seemingly better, but he'll rise to a yellow card. Leon Brown, though, what a delicate touch that was. Yeah, I think it was a link up from all three creative, say, Andrew Technical players in the middle. First, a pass from Marshall going into Salmon, and then Salmon played it through, and it was Brown who had the most intent to get to the ball there. I think Orr was a bit slow off his line, and then eventually, once he got there, he saw none of the ball. And then once the striker got there first, he was always going to be danger, and the danger has been confirmed. It is a yellow card and a penalty now for, say, Andrew Technical. Dean, who both said in the first half that they had been knocking, and I don't think that there's any greater opportunity than a penalty kick to completely knock the whole door down. They certainly have individuals who are good kickers of the ball. Philip Williams having a lot to say. And the captain, Richard Livingston, will take up the duties. Jahim or enters the frame now. So it's Livingston versus Orr. Seven goals so far. Eight assists. Can he make it 8-8? Eight, eight? Penalty for Senator Technical. This in the 58th minute of play. Very short run up for Livingston. He must be really confident. Let's see. Can he convert? Livingston. Does well, Jahim or getting a hand to it, but the power behind that kick was enough to get beyond even the firmest of hands. St. Andrew Technical taking the lead in the 58th minute of play. Richard Livingston after what was great build of play. Yeah, another look at that one. Yeah, it was a calm penalty or guessed the right way, but. As you mentioned, Dean, the power of the kick really sold this one and ensured that he would be going straight into the net. Richard Livingston, the St. Andrew technical captain, now eight goals on the season. And in a matter of minutes, as a substitution is also made by Kingston technical, but in a matter of minutes, their game has really turned on its head, losing their captain first to an injury, giving up a penalty within seconds, really. And then shortly after that, the penalty was scored. As you see the substituted player there, it is Orville Golson. Coming in for Alwayne Bennett, but yes, yeah, the Andrew Technical. They have been knocking. They have been there to get that goal. They have it now. And I think it's going to be really important for Kingston Technical to remember that this is a two-legged tie. I think it's best for them not to get too carried away and try and keep this score as low as possible. Of course, they want to score goals and even win this game, but I think it's really important for them to keep any score down as low as possible to give themselves a chance in the second leg. That second leg encounter set for Wednesday, the 1st of November. Let's see how they can respond and how will stats respond having you know gotten that lead now would it give them a greater measure of confidence and relaxation to not that they haven't been playing proper football but to even turn on the styles a bit So it's a free kick. Ravi and Thompson behind this one for Kingston Technical. 
Let's see what he can do. Goes deep in the area, headed over the top. It was J. Lloyd Smith. Seemingly didn't land too well, but he was an important defensive header to get that one out. A much better delivery from Ravian Thompson than what we saw in the first half. Corner kick taken quickly. And Nicole Gale booting that one out of touch. It's a throw in. Down on the Sportsmax app today. Get it on the Google Play or the Apple App Store and ensure you are able to follow all the action in schoolboy football in Jamaica. The action in the schoolboy football and SSFL. Schoolboy football, of course, in Jamaica. SSFL is free. Here comes the Synergy Technical. Leon Brown darting in the air. Leon Brown. Oh, that would have been a spectacular finish from that acute angle. He has a bit of smiles as well. Yeah, Leon Brown showing some really, really, really strong pace. That's what won his team the penalty, and on that occasion, he raced away from the Kingston technical defense. But couldn't apply the finish. He was at an angle, had to curl that one home, but couldn't wrap his foot around that one in the end. Smith there still seeming to have some measure of discomfort. J. Lloyd Smith, the number six for Senator Technical Central Defender. As we'd say in Jamaica, trying to run it out. Here's Senator Technical. Brown trying to apply some body, but loses out to Robinson. Nikoi Walters getting in on the play. Looks to be Millwood now. Kept it in touch. Good challenge that from Senator Technical. Brown trying to get by Merritt plays it in the path of Atkinson Atkinson still Atkinson Carlos Planta now Brown gets the return ball swings it across Salmon on the end of it has to go f further than I'm sure he would have wanted played it back for Livingston now he's bundled over by Orville Goldson So it's a free kick in the 64th minute of play for St. Andrew Technical. Kevin Hall taking that one. Lifts it up again, but broken up by St. Andrew Technical. Kingston Technical, I beg your pardon. Here they come forward again. Atkinson trying to combine with Salmon and Cole. Robinson plays out for Thompson. Again, a firm challenge from St. Andrew Technical. Here they come forward. Marshall. Salmon on the end of that header. And it was a free one. But not the right connection in the end. Two St. Andrew Technical players around the back post. Neither of them could apply the right touch. And all of a sudden, the players are dropping like flies. Someone on this occasion seemingly la not landing well. Also seeing Ravian Thompson 
for Kingston Technical down again. He's up now, but not looking the best. And there's a chant going on in the stands. As we see, say, Andrew Technical making their first change of the game. It's going to be Jamal Bygrave immediately coming on for Andre Saman. Coach Philip Williams making, taking no chances, really, with one of his star players. So many important games left to go. Bygrave, the number 19, one goal to his name this season. But clearly his coach, Philip Williams, trusts him to do a job in these circumstances. Speaking of, speaking of being able to do a job, one person who does it very well is Kimani O'Sullivan. Let's see what kind of report he has from the sidelines for us. Yeah, thanks, LeJ. Uh, it's getting from bad to worse to Kingston for Kingston Technical because Alwyn Bennett had to be stretchered to the bench just now. He was unable to walk under his own power. Um, I'm getting word from the staff that it's a dislocated right knee and he's currently being treated on the bench. Looks like he's in a plethora of pain, a majority of pain right now and um, it's not looking good for him. Back to you. Yeah, I know that is a painful injury to have. A classmate of mine got that in high school, a dislocated knee. It was a gruesome sight as well. So yeah, hopefully the captain can recover well, Alwyn Bennett. I wouldn't be surprised, surprised if that was the end of his season. Yeah, it's a tough prospect to face. Having another game and not being able to compete, especially being a leader on the team. I do hope he'll make firm recovery. Here's stats. Nicole Gill trying to barge for that one, but Thompson on the break. Robinson, rather. That ball broken up. And St. Andrew Technical, they've really been resolute in defense. Robinson, that header, unable to cause much damage. And the back th three, they've really been able to stifle any open ch channel. And their passing ability helps them to spread the ball forward. Here they come now. Atkinson whips it across. The header on. Livingston. Sending that one directly to goalkeeper Orr, who's yeah, had a slip while clearing. Yeah. Kings and Technical do recover, however. And here they go again. Looks to be Hudson, but he loses possession. Here they come. It was Marshall going on a little foray before he was chopped down. It's a kick in a dangerous area just outside the box. Ravi and Thompson, the guilty party there. Can this be where they double their lead? St. Andrew Technical. Much on that one, but there's still a melee there, but cleared. Fowler trying to connect with Hudson, who has been close marshaled by Thompson. Another water break. 
Yeah, I don't recall seeing one in the first half, but it definitely was needed. I think that they've changed that around. I know they aren't the only ones who need a water break, Dean. I need one every two minutes. <laughs> in this heat, anything is possible. It is important to stay hydrated. Kimani also taking a sip on the track. I spy. What do I spy? <laughs> You're being watched, young man. <laughs> Impossible to miss, really. Would love to hear his thoughts on that penalty strike. The goal connoisseur. So that was the build up to the penalty. Leon Brown there breaking in in the area. And Richard Livingston making no mistake from the penalty spot. Eight goals in total this season to go along with his eight assists. 16 goal contributions for Livingston, the captain of St. Andrew Technical, the number seven. It is nice to see Livingston get over his injury issues from last season. A lot of people think that, well, maybe if he was there, he could have broken up the tie between them and JC. Hard to say, of course, but he was an important cog and he's proving to be an important cog this season as well. Speaking of important cogs, imperious head and then now a clearance by Alex Xavier Gooden. He's an imposing figure there in the heart of defense. Yeah, so, so impressive Yeah, for someone so young to be that imposing as a centre-back. Not the easiest of tasks, but he makes it look rather easy. Speaking of making it look easy, Nikoi Gale in the centre of the park. Yeah, easy street. <laughs> Has a touch of class about them. Here they come again. Hall. That pass wayward, but still not all clear. Atkinson trying to poke it forward. And Brown, he had to be there. Leon Brown, what would a game, what would a goal be without a contribution from this man? And amidst all the argy-bargy, the ball broke to him, and he made no mistake. From point-blank range, Leon Brown climbing the goal-scoring chart. 14 for the season and the flagman has a lot to say two goals to the good Leje Williams yeah Leon Brown the first goal he was quickest the second goal he was even more quick because as soon as it fell to him it was a snapshot but it was a snapshot of precision and as soon as it left his right boot you knew exactly where it was going he knew exactly where it was going and the man was had a very strong impact on this game already Leon Brown a strong impact on the season He's in his gloves. Maybe he's feeling like Dembaba. Because that's how he's finishing right now. And he has put St. Andrew Technical 2 0 up now over Kingston Technical. They're doing the business, are they? St. Andrew Technical. It's going to be yet another free kick now in a similar area for Kingston Technical. It will be their number six. Ravian Thompson strolling across to take it. Queen Hudson still writhing in pain. Just a few yards away from the 18 yard box. Medical staff being summoned. Another substitution about to be made, this time from Kingston Technical. Entering the park, number 18, Michael Ashbourne.
And uh, leaving the park is Nikoi Walters, who hasn't had the greatest measure of contributions as we've seen. Jakeem Williams trying to orchestrate things defensively. Wall there. Yeah, quite often we see two different boots being used by players on either foot. Here's the kick. Over the top. Jaim Williams not troubled by that one. Yeah, yet again, too heavy by Kingston Technical in those areas. See, Nigel Technical yet again comfortable. Damari Brooks there fouling. Kevin Hall giving away the free kick, but they lose possession. Here's Hudson. He bundled over. Leon Brown trying to get in on the action as well. Here's Marshall. And his ball through to Orville Golson. Make that Jamal Bygrave was cut out. Throwing taken quickly from St. Andrew Technical. Lifted across. Jay Moore able to handle the ball easily. Hudson on the ball. Close mark by Thompson. Again, they lose possession. Here they come forward. Leon Brown was offside. He yeah, has been really close on a couple of occasions, Leon Brown. This time just not timing his run to perfection. But has had a really significant impact on the second half, Brown. <laughs> was really eager to make atonement for what in his mind was a subpar season last year and uh, certainly two goal contributions today is atonement enough here they come forward Kevin Hall the recipient he'll spread it across spreads it out Yeah, a bit too heavy, that cross. Usually, much better deliveries from Kevin Hall. Fans still out in their umbrellas. Temperatures died down a bit. Gotten a little bit cooler with the breeze, but we're under a tent, so maybe we're not feeling the full brunt of it. Certainly don't mind. Planter being supplanted by Kevin Hall gets the better in the end. And the first touch from Jamari Robinson was poor. Nikoi Gale again in the middle of the park, really orchestrating a lot. Well done from Alex Xavier Gooden. Here's Gale, spreads it. Looking more like a running back there. It was Livingston, but it was already out of touch.
Here's Kingston Technical trying to connect with Hudson now, but that's broken up. The substitute, Michael Ashburn, has done well. Plays it to Hudson. Definitely has a shot in him, does Hudson. Yeah, you can certainly see why he's a danger man. As you mentioned in the first half, Dean, as soon as he gets a glimpse, just a mere glimpse of the goal, he's shooting on sight, really. But unfortunately for him, none of those shots have been too accurate in this game. But if it was anyone to really disrupt this defensive dominance from, say, Andrew Technical today, it's definitely looked like him. Here's Kevin Hall. Can he deliver a telling blow? Ball goes all the way to the danger man. And he fires back in into the back of the net. Richard Livingston. It's three goals though for St. Andrew Technical and it's easy street for them now. They have turned on the styles and the system, the well-engineered system again, reaping dividends, Jaheim, or a pitcher of frustration. We were speaking earlier about whether or not Richard Livingston could have made a difference in that final. It's because of the fact that he can do things like that. Excellent control. He's two-footed. They don't know which way he's going to go. And with a powerful right-footed finish, it was too much for Jai Moore. And say Andrew Technical are definitely proving too much for Kingston Technical. They're 3-0 up now. Yeah, a different quality, different level of composure, different level of structure. It's all been shown on hand and the frustration mounting for Kingston Technical shoved there and he Carlos Planta was lucky to have evaded a yellow card in the first half he gets it this time they always look the better team but just didn't have the goals to show, but three in the second half. In the class of 1973. They'll have a lot to talk about. Perhaps better years. Gail. Planter again in the thick of things. Referee yeah. Headley giving him a firm talking to. Yeah, a bit of a wild kick out there. I think he was actually probably Golson on that right hand side. But Planter was close by. Maybe with ill intentions as well. <laughs> it's going to be a free kick yet again. It's Hall across to take it. Comes into the air, Gooden with the header. Down and up. And it's over the top. He was well beaten. He knew he knows it. The disappointment speaks for itself <laughs> on Jahi Moore's face. Probably upset with the marking because Gooden and Lloyd actually have been getting free headers in the box all game long. And this was the closest that they've come. He still hasn't moved. <laughs> I, I, I bet you that he'll have to move soon because the marauding attack of St. Andrew Technical comes forward. Here's Atkinson. It's a throw in they'll take quickly. Not before this substitution is made. coming on the park. Kalonji Watson. And Ajitai Marshall leaves. Throwing kick in. Fall throw.
Time for the Sportsmax moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. And it came courtesy of this passage of play. Ball falling to Leon Brown, who fired home for the second of the afternoon for St. Andrew Technical. First time. Look at that. Jaheem or having nothing to do about that one. Rejoicing for Leon Brown, his 14th of the season. The Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. Get it on the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store, and watch all the action in It's a Schoolboy Football and SSFL in, the, in Trinidad and Tobago for free. Here's Watson to Livingston. Gets the return roll as Watson trying to connect with it by Grave. Slipping and sliding but turning well. Here's Livingston. Gale from distance. It wasn't a bad effort, you know. Jaheem or had to put a firm hand to it. Gives up the corner kick. He's really been in the wars today, Jai Moore. Atkinson, poor corner kick on that occasion, but Gale doing well to recover possession for stats. Here's Gale. It went directly to goal, or had to do a lot of work there. More than initially I would have expected, but it did swing. It certainly was a looping effort, not what he had intended, McCoy Gill. I say Andrew Technical still looking dangerous all the way in the 88th minute. Here's a corner taken by Livingston. The header on, and it's in the back of the net now. And Xavier Gooden. He loves that one. Earlier he had one that went down and up over the top, but this time right into the back of the net from the number four for St. Andrew Technical, the national under 17 representative. Had six goals last season. Has a target of 10. And I tell you what, with headers like that, he might just get it and even more. Yeah, he's been tempting all game long. He has come close on numerous occasions. He came close in the opening three minutes of the game and in the last three minutes of the game, he has finally put one home. Alex Xavier Gooden, really and truly completing what has been a complete performance from St. Andrew Technical today. And I think the scoreline is more flattering to the performance that they have delivered. So Warwick Watson there. Euphora. The shirt he wears, as you see, was a deputy head boy for St. Andrew Technical. They had a green there in the middle. Also, stats past the student. Currently there at the University of the Western is Mona. Not too far from where we are today at Jamaica College. Planter trying to play it out. Thompson under pressure, under duress. Does well to keep possession. Hudson has switched to the left and flank.
Excellent control there by a member of the St. Andrew technical coaching staff. So it isn't the players alone having fun on the pitch. Here's Hudson. He really has stood out as Hudson. That ball there. Even no problems to Jaheim Williams in goal for stats. Perhaps not the reunion that they would have wanted. Especially bearing in mind that they actually came to this encounter here at the Ashadheim Sports Complex. They are looking to make an early exit. He's looking to make a late entry. Number 15 for Kingston Technical. That's Dijon Grant. Yeah, one of my favorite times now. The man of the match discussion. Just realized that the time is ticking along. I think we've seen a fair few candidates from St. Andrew Technical. Of course, Leon Brown, a goal to his name. Looking to get another there. It's true. He, he, was a, he was a player to watch, Leon Brown, so he really put in a performance. I think Richard Livingston, two goals to his name today. He put in a really good performance. But I think in this situation, I'm actually really glad that a defender scored because I wanted to give it to a defender or a defensive midfielder regardless. Because <laughs> I was thinking about Nikoi Gale. I think he was superb today. But I think Alex Xavier Gooden, how imposing he has been at the back, ensuring that St. Andrew Technical continue to keep their strong defensive record. Only two goals conceded all season. He's a huge part of that. I think one of the best central defenders in the competition has represented Jamaica under 17 at national level also. And the fact that he got his goal really icing on the cake for me, I think Alex Xavier Gooden is my pick for man of the match. But I think a majority of the St. Andrew Technical players have a claim. Yeah, Leon Brown certainly won. Here's Atkinson. Atkinson had too many touches. And that could have been an easy goal for him had he been a bit more decisive. The four-goal man. Yeah, he was trying to, to be a bit too fancy there, trying to walk it in. Foul against the man of the match elect there, Alex <laughs> Xavier Gooden. I wonder if he heard you and was trying to jinx your prediction or your candidacy. Well, I think this candidacy, candidacy is written in stone unless he were to turn around and slap one in into his own net from around 30 yards but I doubt he'll do that one so we're to see another change a late one Terrain Hall will be coming in for the captain Richard Livingston just a couple minute run out for the youngster Here's an Andrew Technical. Referee O'Hara Headley has seen enough of this one. St. Andrew Technical High School coming out the victors over Kingston Technical in the El Technico. In the Issa Manning Cup round of 16, Leon Brown there, certainly one who stood out on today's field of play, contributing in two goals. Alex Xavier Gooden had one as well as a stern defensive performance. Richard Livingston, the captain, himself contributing to on the afternoon and the tactician 
must be a pleased man. Four goals to add to the 46 they had in the opening rounds. 50 goals only conceding two. It's been imperious for St. Andrew Technical. Jaheem Orr has been battered and bruised literally and figuratively today. J. Lloyd Smith and the rest of the St. Andrew Technical High School players and staff looking quite relieved. Full-time scores, St. Andrew Technical 4, Kingston Technical 0. Here from the Ashenheim Stadium. O'Hara Headley sent them off. It was first half action. And that header from J. Lloyd Smith almost going on target, but that was the intention being shown from St. Andrew Technical. Richard Livingston sending that delightful cross. It fell well for Leon Brown, who flashed it wide. Livingston again with a free kick. That went over the top. It was really action from them. Leon Brown getting a shot. A snapshot as you'd like and he really had a good day that shot from Dwayne Atkinson being handled by Jaheim Moore and it was really action action upon action for St. Andrew Technical in the first half showing their quality again Livingston with a tantalizing ball and Leon Brown almost got it on target but it was deflected out by to Damari Brooks but in the second half Andre Salmon they're getting his shot off another block ensuring but this the moment the game changed for St. Andrew Technical a darted run by Leon Brown and Jaheim Moore had no option but to foul him Livingston stepping up taking the penalty converting that was in the 58th minute 1-0 for stats at that moment Kevin Hall send that one across and the header from Livingston directly to Jahi Moore. Another game, another goal in the 73rd minute. This ball after a bit of a melee fall into Leon Brown, the one-time finish. The stuff of legends, yeah. Clean finish, Jahi Moore. Shell shocked and frozen. And when he looks at the replay, he'll see how quickly that one flew past him. 2 0 at that time. And the pressure would continue to mount. Delightful ball that from Kevin Hall. Going the way of Richard Livingston, who turned inside and fired. Two legged player is Livingston. Yeah, that's a rarity, especially at the schoolboy level. And he did well to beat Jahim or in goal. Three goals for St. Andrew Technical at that time. And they had a lot of joy. Here's another delivery from Livingston and the header from Alex Xavier Gooden. Bang on target. That was his second such attempt in this half. Under 17 national player for Jamaica converting well. Four goals for St. Andrew Technical on the afternoon. And to the victor belongs the spoils. Philip Williams enjoyed that performance. Here are the match statistics. One shot on target for Kingston Technical from eight attempts. Ten on target from 19 from St. Andrew Technical. There were 21 fouls and nine of them to stats. 12 to Kingston Technical. Three yellow cards to Kingston Technical. Three offsides to St. Andrew Technical. Nine corners versus four for Kingston Technical. Saves five made by Jaheim Orr for Kingston Technical. Only one for made for Jaheim Williams in the stats goal. And they had 58% of the possession to go with four second half goals. St. Andrew Technical, the winners on the day. Kimani O'Sullivan is with the man of the match. All right, thank you, Dean. I'm joined by man of the match from Stats, Alex Xavier Gooden. And on behalf of Digicel, junior brand manager, Kadeen Webley, will be presenting him with his award. All right, let me talk to you now. Alex Xavier, you got the win and you scored a goal. How pleased with that are you? Well, it's a very good feeling, but we still have a lot of work to put in. 
And in terms of celebrating your goal, you gave Coach Philip Williams a big hug. Speak to me about how important he is to your success. Well, coach, well our coach is like family, and this is a big achievement for him because we want to bring home this one for him. And in terms of your Man of the Match award, how do you typically celebrate stuff like this? Well, I don't celebrate. You don't celebrate? No. All right, so what are you going to do later at all? Just play a game and go sleep. Play a game and go <laughs> sleep. All right, thank you, Alex Xavier. Yeah, All thanks. the best. Yeah, that was Alex Xavier Gooden, the centre-back of St. Andrew Technical there. We'll be joined now by coach Francis Murray of Kingston Technical. Coming out on the wrong end of this one. Yeah, you were firm in that first half, coach, but it all went wrong in the second half. Give me your thoughts on the game. Uh, just an unfortunate second half. Well, we lost our, our captain and, and one of the, the standard bearers in the team. And uh, I think we, we started to lose our composure at that point. And um, as a result, a good team as, as stats are, you don't lose your composure and, and come back so easily. But um, there's another leg, yes, and, and we'll fight again. And in terms of an update on your captain, could you give us one? Um, I'm, I'm not a medical person, so I'm not sure, but his, his right knee is torn up pretty badly, and um, we're, we're, he's off to the hospital. And in terms of what you need to fix going into that second leg, what well, exactly? Well, what we need to fix is um, get back to what we have been playing all season. Early passes, you know, sharing the ball some more and getting forward in numbers. We have not been doing that well today. As a result, um, you see the scoreline. All right, thank you, coach. All the best. Right, oh, thank you. Yeah, joined now by St. Andrew Technical Coach. Coach Philip Williams, I see a little smirk there. Coach, you got the three points. Well, you got the first win in, the, in this two-leg tie. How pleased are you? Very pleased. We know that um, this first leg would have, would have been um, very important in terms of setting the, the, the tone over the two-leg the two tie. How worried were you about that first-half performance, seeing that they, it was nil-nil going into the second half? Not worried, you know. I mean, um, we were creating the chances. We know that it was a matter of time before one of those um, were converted and... We know that after that, then the game will get easier for us. And in terms of that team talk you'd have given them in that, going into that second half, because in the second half, it just seemed like floodgates. I mean, um, these are youngsters. You have to keep on coaching them, and that's all we did. Um, we encouraged them, asked them to keep composure, and more importantly, um, be, 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 be exact with their decision-making. And that was what, um, I mean, turned turn around the game for us in terms of how we, we were looking in the final third. Yeah, and Alex Xavier Gooden, when he got his Man of the Match award just now, told me that he'll go home and play a game. How, how big of a fan are you of you know, their downtime and what they do in their downtime? Yeah, I mean, um, it, it's very stressful. The expectation is there, so we encourage them to have um, quality downtime. And um, playing game is one, one, one such. So we encourage them to just enjoy themselves after because um, it's stressful for the coaches and we know that the pressure is also on the players. Are you... You play any games yourself, coach? Uh, not at all. It's been, been, been a while. I don't have the time to, to sleep. But, but I mean, um, it's a profession. And uh, we love it. And when you love what you do, you don't mind. All right. Thank you, coach. All the best. All right, then, man. So, confirmation of the full time score St. Andrew Technical beating Kingston Technical four goals to nil in the first leg of the second round encounter here at the JC Ashadheim complex. Yeah, the fans were out in their numbers and uh, the truly obliged.
Yo, it's a busy fans are roll out all boat, be a flag pan vehicle. Looking at the crowd, bus load that support us from school and community too. People nothing at the stand, some are listening to the radio, but some are watching on TV too. Country and turn your night for one reason. It's a schoolboy football, go come, look one, look all. Which team are the best and like a better than the best and the fire team beat your chest? It's a schoolboy football, that team could rise and that team could fall. But you never will know until the whistle blows around, come enjoy the show. Yo, it's a... That, that, that competition I never have a nice up. People love see when boys I get nice up. And if 